Welcome to a snapshot of Adaptive's Uniform Thickness Bolus Module, also referred to as the Simple Bolus Module. Like the rest of our software, the Simple Bolus Module has regulatory clearance with FDA 510K approval and a CE mark. We provide cancer centers with an in-house solution, complete with software, 3D printer, and filament materials, all of which have been fully validated for use in radiation oncology. A major benefit of adaptive software is the integration with the clinically commissioned TPS. This allows you to import the patient-specific bolus designed in our software back into your TPS for verification against the initial treatment plan that was created. This reduces risk and ensures that the bolus being printed matches the bolus in the TPS plan. This schematic illustrates the relationship between our software and the TPS. We know that efficiency is key to you, so that's why we've ensured that our software integrates directly into your current workflow. We'll discuss these steps in greater detail later in this video when we take you through a demo of our software. Now, let's walk through the advantages of using patient-specific 3D printed bolus. The main advantage of using 3D printing to create a patient-specific bolus is the reduction in air gaps between the bolus and the patient surface. In the image seen here, we can see a comparison between standard sheet bolus on the left and 3D printed bolus on the right. As you can see, there's a clear reduction in air gaps in all three cases using 3D printed bolus. Reduced air gaps will in return improve the accuracy of treatment delivery. With a simple place and go setup, no need to use materials such as wax and wet gauze, the patient experience and comfort can be vastly improved with a 3D printed custom accessory. And if the bolus remains the same throughout treatment, you can also ensure reproducible setup and placement for all treatment fractions. In the patient case seen here, a simple bolus was designed in the TPS from a post-op CT. The cleaving feature in our software was used to separate the bolus into two pieces for easy insertion into the nasal cavities. And not only was the therapist able to easily place the bolus, but by just the second treatment, this patient was placing the bolus all by himself prior to treatment. Now, let's take a look at our software. From the home screen, select the simple bolus module. Once open, you can import patient information from your TPS into our software. Our software uses the TPS to gather the necessary patient plan DICOM data that is required. Pertinent patient info will populate in the top right of the screen. Additional patient info will appear by hovering your cursor over the patient name. This allows you to ensure the correct data was imported. The next step is to identify the bolus. From the drop-down menu in the Select Structures window, you can choose your bolus. You'll notice that our software automatically applies a smoothing function to the bolus to eliminate any stepping effect. This ensures optimal patient comfort when the bolus is applied during treatment. Now, let's run through the advanced post-processing features available in our software that allow you to further customize the bolus. The cropping feature allows you to crop the bolus and produce a flat surface that ensures a good adhesion to the heated print bed. This, in return, will help ensure a successful print. The prop crop plane can be moved or rotated in any direction by simply clicking and dragging the cropping tool. As you can see here, this bolus has been cropped and will ensure a successful print. The cleaving feature allows you to cleave a bolus into two parts. Hover your cursor over the middle of the cleaving plane and simply click and drag to place the plane in your desired location. The plane can also be rotated in any direction, just like the cropping function. You can preview the cleave bolus and then click done when satisfied. This feature is a useful tool when dealing with complex anatomy such as the nose bolus seen earlier or for large extremities. The patient identifier label feature allows you to place a single ID label anywhere on the surface of the bolus. This is a great tool to use, especially if you're printing multiple accessories overnight. There will never be any confusion as to which accessory belongs to which patient. Another benefit is that this tool allows you to easily identify the correct orientation of the bolus for placement during patient setup. The Dissymmetry feature features generates in vivo dissimeter pockets within a bolus and prints appropriately sized caps to fill the pockets when the dissimeters are not in use. In the marker selection list, you'll see all the markers that have been exported from the TPS. And you can further customize the settings by adjusting the shape, width, depth, and length and size of the desired pocket. A new feature introduced in the latest version of our software is the ability to create 3D printed molds that can be filled with a viscous or flexible material such as skin safe silicone. There are two options that you can create a mold from. One is a block design and the other is a shell design as seen here. You'll notice that our software tells you how much material is required to fill the mold to create the bolus. And once a mold is generated, you can crop the mold from the bottom to ensure good adhesion to the print bed as noted earlier. 
Plus, you can also crop from the top to create a hole to pour the flexible material into to fill the mold. This is really an innovative and superior method to creating a flexible patient-specific bolus. Now, when you've completed modifying the bolus in our software, click Export RT Struct to bring the structure back into the TPS to verify the bolus against your original plan. Once the plan has been verified in the TPS, you can then click Export SGL, which produces a file used to 3D print the bolus. Thank you for watching a brief overview of our software in action. For a more in-depth demo or to receive a quote, please click one of the links provided on this page.